Okay, so one other example of our practical, re re uh, practical E1 reaction that we have to consider and really know and understand is that practical E1 reactions can undergo rearrangements, right? So anytime we form a carbocation intermediate, anytime you form a carbocation intermediate, rearrangements are going to be possible. All right, so just like we saw the acid catalyzed hydration reaction can rearrange, so can this. So let's look at an example here and do a rearrangement and look at the product that we form. Okay, so here I have an alcohol. I'm going to treat this with, again, concentrated acid. And then let's see if we can determine what the product we form is and then the mechanism on how this works, all right? The mechanism is going to be exactly the same. When we have concentrated acid, we have H plus and we have water, H2O, okay? Our first step here is we are going to turn this OH, the alcohol, into a good leaving group. We are going to protonate the oxygen. One of the lone pairs on the oxygen has become a new bond to our H. So the O has three bonds and one lone pair. It now has a positive charge. Okay, that is now a very good leaving group. So the carbon-oxygen bond can break. This bond can become a lone pair on the O. We can eliminate out that water molecule. thereby giving us a positive charge on this carbon, right? And again, remember that there's a hydrogen there that I'm not drawing in, all right? So we've now formed a water molecule as our leaving group, and now we have a carbocation. What type of carbocation is this? This is a secondary carbocation. It is not the most stable carbocation we can possibly form. And what you'll notice here is we now have some branching directly attached to that carbocation. And that's where our rearrangement is going to occur. So if I draw in my hydrogen here, this carbon-hydrogen bond can break and it can shift right over to that carbon. So I'm breaking this bond here to form a new bond to that carbon there. So the structure we get here Oops, let's just draw this a little bit better. And let's kind of draw, there was one hydrogen here. So that carbon now has two hydrogens. This carbon here is missing its hydrogen. Okay, so this carbon now has our positive charge. So what type of carbocation do we have here? Right, we now have a tertiary carbocation which is more stable than the secondary. That's why this rearrangement occurs. So now we just have to finish our final step, right? Again, we wanna form the most stable alkene we can. We're going to deprotonate that hydrogen. Again, we're using our water molecule. So if I take H2O, the lone pair on this oxygen can deprotonate, take that hydrogen. Those two electrons can form my pi bond, right? And that will get us our final product here, forming a tetra-substituted alkene. And that is the major product formed via a practical E1 reaction with a rearrangement.